more interesting things we're seeing this, these days from commercial database vendors is visualization tools and elements integrated into their databases. Um, the commercial database vendor Thomson Reuters offers a nice visualization tool that they call Citation Map integrated into their Science Citation Index. And what this allows you to do is create a graphical representation that's dynamic and you can manipulate using your, your mouse uh, that shows you the relationships between a cited paper and other papers. Let's hop on over into the database, run a quick search and see what we get. I'm going to look for climate change information. I'm going to back off because I want to find a paper that's been cited. So I'm going to back out a couple years and run my search. Now what you get back is going to look like a typical citation database. Um, it's giving us the basic data about the article. In this case, I'm looking at some of these and I see that they haven't been cited at all. If this is the case, then certainly citation map's not going to work. Here's one that's been cited 24 times, so we'll take a quick look at it. Again, it looks pretty typical from here. You've got the standard metadata, but one little button that might escape your attention is this citation mapping tool. Click on citation map and you have an opportunity to map this record forward or backward or both. Forward be, would be records that cite the target record. Backward is records that the target record cites. And we'll try both just to see what we get there. And create map. Now you've got to remember that like a lot of these tools, this tool requires that Java be installed. So you must have the most current version of the Java runtime environment on your computer and the necessary browser plugin. Not a big deal for most people, but if you work at an agency that requires you to do this, uh, you might need to get that done for you. And pardon my login credentials here. All right, real fast we see we get the citation map. The really cool thing about this though is I can manipulate this by grabbing it and dragging it. I also see that these are color coded. Here's my target citation. The information is right down here. If I want to, I can take a look at say this citation by double clicking on it it will center that and pull up the appropriate information. Let me center this all back and show you another neat feature. You can change your color coding. I'm going to say show me by country of origin and all the red ones come from the same country. Now it's still listing them in order of um, author information so I'm going to change that to country information and I can get a quick look here at where these citations are coming from. So if I wanted to track the USA, for example, I could do it pretty easily. Certainly, if you want to see any of these citations, you can just double click on the citation to get it. And here we are. Very nice feature. So what might you use citation mapping for? Well, one of the things that you could use citation mapping to do is analyze the papers that are cited. Certainly, you could also use the colors, though, to analyze the year, the author, um, the date of publication, uh, the country, the language. You can also capture an image of your citation map and you can dynamically link to the metadata for the citations that are that are referenced. But ultimately I think the biggest reason that you might want to use citation mapping is to see at a glance the impact a paper has had over a diverse but related subject fields.